Stanford Library, the Jackson County Library Services. Welcome to my library. Today I'm going to tell you a story. And today's tale is of the Bremen Town Musicians. And this is how the story goes. Once upon a time there was, and twice upon a time there wasn't, a donkey. Now you're thinking, how exceptional can this story be? It starts off with a donkey. Well, this donkey was neither old nor young. He was just making his way down the road. And he was going a little bit quick. Blip, blop, blip, blop, blip, blop, blip, blop. He was trying to make some tracks. He left his farm earlier in the day. And he wasn't in a hurry to go back. He overheard the old master talking to his missus, saying, Oh, that poor donkey. He doesn't get up in the morning quite the same way as he used to. I remember when he was young and spry. Ah, maybe we'll just get ourselves a new one. Take that one to the glue factory. Well, the donkey didn't have big ears for nothing. And he heard this glue factory. He had no idea what glue factory meant, but it didn't sound good. And so he decided to take a walk. And he was walking hard. And he was thinking to himself, I'm t so the indignity of it all is just like I've served that master of mine so well over the years. I mean, all year long, year after year, you know, I take his crops to the to the mar farmer's market. And, and then, you know, I let him hook up a wagon to me and we go into the woods and we haul logs out of there on that cart. And then I, on the Sundays, he puts the missus on the back and we go into, into, into town. And, uh, you know, I've just done my part, certainly. I want to go sit out in a field and nibble on some green grass, but it's just like, I'm not asking too much. Yeah, you know, my bones are a little bit achy, but hey, you know, I'm getting up there. Maybe. No. And so down the road he went, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. And he's thinking, what am I going to do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. I'm going to go to Bremen, and I'm going to be a fabulous musician. I'm going to be one of the greatest opera singers the world has ever seen. People will come from miles around to hear me sing. So clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, down the road with the donkey. He had a, he had a, a plan now. He was thinking everything's going to be all right. Well, about midday, he came across a dog. The dog was sitting in the middle of the road, panting. <laughs> well, old Bowser, what's, what's the matter? Said the donkey. Why are you so puckered out? And the dog looked up at the donkey and said, <laughs> Well, I had a I had to make my way down the road. I, I didn't know what else to do. So, well, well, tell me your story. It's like, well, it's kind of a sad one. I, I mean, I this morning I was sitting in the kitchen gnawing on an old bone, and I and, and I and I heard heard my my master looked and he looked down at me and and he, and he says, "Oh, you poor old thing, you're just not the same old dog that you used to be. I think we just might have to just put you down." Well. I took a break from that bone. I don't know what being put down means, but it's like I, I decided I, I, I just had to go. I'm thinking, what is I, I, I didn't understand. What? 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 It's like I've served this man all my life. It's like I've chased, you know, critters, you know, down for him when we've gone hunting. It's like, you know, oh, I, I've, I've barked and, and carried on and kept people away from the, the yard. I've, I've chased that cat around the kitchen. I, I didn't understand where this was coming from. So I, I didn't wait around to find out what, what he what he meant by being put down. It's like I, so here I am, and I've been running hard for hours. Well, stop your running," said the donkey. "Come with me. I'm going to Bremen. I'm going to be a famous opera singer, and you and I can can sing these fabulous duets, and people will come from all over the country to hear us sing." Well, the dog didn't think too hard about it. So I'll come with you certainly. And with that, you know, clip clop, clip clop went the, the the donkey and pat 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 went the dog and down the down the road towards Bremen they went. Well, later in the day, they came across, you know, a cat was sitting there sunning herself on a on a stone wall. The cat was licking, preening, and they looked up at the cat and said, "Old Mouser, what are you doing up there on the fence? How come you're not in, you know, some some kitchen somewhere licking up a bowl of milk?" Well, she said, lick, lick, bring, bring. I, well, that's what I would like to be doing. It was just this morning I was sitting on my mistress's chair, and, and I heard her talking to the maid, and, and they looked at each other, and, the, and they looked at me, and, this is, and the mistress said, you know, I think it's time for us just to go toss old Kitty into the creek. She's not the cat she used to be. 
Well, I'll tell you, I know not, I don't know what being tossed in the creek is all about. I don't like water. You know, but I, I think that maybe I can find somebody else who loves me more and better now. And, and I would love to have my old kitchen, but, you know, goodness. I mean, I've chased so many mice out of that kitchen. You know, and I've kept critters away from the house. Oh, it's the saddest day of my life, said the cat. Well, the dog and the donkey looked at each other and they looked at the cat. And they said, hey, we're going to Bremen. And we're going to be famous opera singers. We want you to come with us. And the three of us will be this fabulous trio. And people will come from all over the world to hear us sing. We'll be so fabulous that oh, oh, we'll just be fabulous. Well, the cat said, of course, I'll come along with you. So down the road they went. Clop, 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 clop with the donkey. And pat, 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 pat with the, the dog. And spring, spring, spring went the cat. Well, it was getting to be close to sundown, and they kept hearing a cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo, up ahead on the road. Finally, they got to the fence, and there was this old rooster sitting up on the fence, and the rooster was just crowing for all it was worth. Cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo. And the three of them looked at the rooster, and says, You know, Pecker said, What's the matter? Why are you crock a doodle dooing right now? It's just like, you know, the, the sun is going down. It's not coming up. Oh, I gotta do this. It's the only thing I know how to do really well, and I want to make sure someone can see me doing this and then take me home and take good care of me. I'm not asking for much. It's like, you know, I, I you know, I, there was some grain on the, you know, there for me to peck up and, you know, uh, just some place where I can crow in the morning. And it's like, well, well, this is not the place. Go down to the, you know, there's a farm over here. Oh, no, no, I can't go to the farm, said the rooster. This morning, the, you know, the old farmer and, and then the, the farmer's wife, they were looking at me pretty hard. And, and I could just picture in their minds, you know, what they had going on. I, I was picturing stew pot, you know, and, and I've served this man all these years. It's like every morning I crow and crow and crow. And everyone knows it's time to get up and go to work. I guess even old birds like me, and they reach the end of their road and then just like, but I'm not done yet. I have a lot of crowing left to do. I don't know what to do, though. Well, the three companions looked at the, the rooster and said, come join us. We're going off to Bremen to be fabulous. The famous, we're going to be great opera singers, and we want you to come along with us to make a great quartet, and we'll go ahead and just be the most fabulous thing that the world has ever seen. The rooster thought this was grand. Why not? So down the road they went, clip, clop, clip, clop, went the donkey, and pat, 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 went the dog, and you know, now spring, springing along came the cat, and the, and the rooster came flying along too. Well, like I say, it was late in the day, and they were kind of tired. So they went off into the woods and settled down around a big, tall tree. The donkey got down, nibbled on some grass, and all curled up at the base of the tree, and cat jumped onto a low hanging branch and the rooster went up, 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 up till they came to the very top of the tree. The sun went down and it got to be pretty dark in the forest. The rooster's looking around, looking around, and all of a sudden, off in the distance, he sees a light. Hmm. Well, this rooster is no dumb, no dumb rooster. And he went flying down and he woke up his companions and said, we've been living amongst people all our, all our days. You know what? You know what? Uh, what that means? So there's probably a warm bed, and, and there's probably food, you know, and things, I and mean, just things for us to eat. Let's go. Let's go find out what this is going. What's going on with this light over here in the forest? And so the, you know, the, the companions all got up and they walked quietly through the forest until they came to a farmyard and they walked through the farmyard, and there was this, this little old stone house sitting there in the middle of the farmyard. The light was blazing out of the windows and blazing out of the door. And the companions walked up quietly. The donkey put his hooves up on the, on the windowsill and looked inside. And inside he saw three robbers sitting around a table. And the table was piled with gold, but it was also piled with food. And there was a fireplace blazing and there was a kitchen stove that was bubbling with all sorts of delicious smelling things. Oh, well, all the animals suddenly felt very hungry. And they looked at each other and they looked at the donkey and they, they said, well, what do we do? And the donkey you know, thought, mm, you know, we're not the kind as to go in and, and, and bake. No. We're famous musicians now, and we must earn our supper. So I think we should sing for our supper. And they all looked at each other and said, fabulous idea. We could use the practice. So the donkey once again put his hooves up on, side, on, on top of the windowsill, and the 
dog jumped on his back and the cat jumped on top of the dog and the rooster jumped on top of the, the cat. And at the count of three, they all started singing. Oh, the dog came bring. Hee-hee-haw! And the dog went, whoa, 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 and the cat, meow, 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 and the rooster, cock, and do all this noise. Well, inside, the robbers heard that they had no idea what it was, and they went crashing out of the house and ran deep into the woods. And they ran, and they ran, and they ran, and they ran. And they ran. Well, the animals all got down, and they looked at each other and said, well, what was that all about? You know, we were singing this beautiful song. It's like, well, dog looked up. So maybe they're just getting their evening exercise. You, people do that. And, and well, let's go inside and wait for them. So they went inside the house, you know, and there was food. And, and they thought and thought and thought. And said, well, I think we'll go ahead and eat our fill right now. And then when we come back, we'll sing for them some more, you know, to pay for our supper. And they ate, and they waited, and they finally settled down. And the cat curled up around the fire dog curled up around the back door. Dog, donkey went out in the yard and settled in. Rooster climbed up high to a tree by the, by the gate, and they all went to sleep. Meanwhile, the robbers went running through the woods, <laughs> and, they, and they slowed down, and they finally stopped. <sighs> well, the robber baron he looked at his two companions and says, what is wrong with us? It was just noise. He looked at the youngest of the, of the, of the trio there and says, I want you to go back. I want you to go back and find out what, so what's going on in that house. We left all our gold and our food and everything back there. We have to, we have to go back. Well, that youngest, that youngest Robert was not keen on this, but he said, okay, he wanted to earn his keep. And he tiptoed back through the forest, and he tiptoed back through the yard of the farm, and he tiptoed up to the door, and he looked in. And it was dark, and the fire had died down. And he looked around, and he didn't see anything. Most of all, he didn't hear anything. So he walked into the kitchen. Tip-toe, tip-toe, tip-toe. And he started, almost started to laugh. He says, there's nothing in here. What was wrong with this? So he reached into his pocket, and he pulled out a match. And he leaned down. He was looking at a couple of coals that were looking down. I don't want to light my match up. Well, they weren't coals. They were the eyes of the cat. And he stuck the match into the eyes of the cat, and the cat jumped up. And started scratching the rubber on his face, and he started running out the door. Well, the dog heard all the commotion, and he leaped up, and he bit the rubber in the leg. Oh, the robber, the robber came running out of the yard. And then all of a sudden, the donkey came into action, and he kicked that robber way outside the yard, and the rooster was crying, cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo well, The robber got to his feet and ran and ran and ran and ran until he found his companions out there in the forest. And they saw him arrive, and he was white as a sheet. He was looking terrified. And the robber bear looked down and said, What is wrong with you? Get a hold of yourself, man. Tell us what, it, what happened. Oh, we can't go back there. What do you mean we can't go back there? Oh, we can't go back there. I went in there, and I thought, oh, this is all, there's nothing wrong. It's all so quiet. And I went into the house, and I went to go light my, my match on these coals that were burning by the fireplace. But all of a sudden, the coals turned into a witch, and she leaped up and started scratching me all over the face, and I went running out of the house. Well, there was this troll by the back door, and he leaped up, and he stuck his knife into my leg, and I went running out, and then there was an ogre out in the yard, and he hit me with his club, and I went flying, and then there was a judge at the very end saying, that's the, 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 the bandit that will do, that's the robber that will do, and uh, we can't go back. <sighs> that's really quite a story. I agree with you. Let's keep going. And the robber baron rounded up his men. They left the forest, and they were never seen there again. Well, the next day, you know, the donkey, dog, and the cat, and the rooster all woke up, and they got together, and they ate some more, and, and they looked at each other, and said, you know, this is a mighty nice place to be. It's quiet. There's no one telling us anything. No one being mad at us. There's plenty of food. It's dry. Why don't we just stay here instead? We can go ahead and sing songs here all day long and just please ourselves. They all thought, this is a grand idea. You know, and as far as I can tell, that's where they're at to this very day. 
and dilly down dale that's the end of that tale <laughs>